makes it simple. Hey, this is Michaela. I am the co-founder of Family First Life Enhanced Foundation with Gage Peart. We have Alyssa Kennedy on today talking about her journey with us so far. So welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes, thank you. So Alyssa, we wanted to hear a little bit about your background and how you kind of got into FFL as the first kind of background story for us. Yeah, so I was actually used to party with Jordan back in high school, <laughs> and I've been a stay-at-home mom for the past three years, and I, you know, was scrolling through Facebook one day, and I was like, of course, I was seeing Jordan's post again, and mm-hmm. I'm like, what is this guy doing? Like, it's still real after, like, a year and a half or something, and I was really just like, all right, Jordan, sign me up, you know, because I kept telling myself, like, it's, it's, I was skeptical. So right, was me like, too. The only way that I could figure this out is if I try it for myself. Absolutely. And that's what I did. I went with Jordan and, um, yeah, just took off, was really motivated to get going, and it's been the best thing for me after staying home with my kids. It's just such a nice change to have. Absolutely. What would you say your why was to get started? Was it just trying to get back out there in the work field or... Yeah, I just, um, I really wanted to feel like rewarded at the mm-hmm. end of the day. And that's for me, that's, you know, having a purpose. I know my purpose Absolutely. is being a mom too. Right. But, um, you know, just something deeper that I could be like when they go to school, I'm like, I need something that I'm going to need in the future as well, not yeah. just for the time being. So, and there's just basically extra income for you guys as well mm-hmm. on top of your husband. Yep. My husband's in the army, so he doesn't make that great of money, but it right. helped me be able to start this business. So, thankful for that and it's definitely taking care of us but yeah it's been amazing I love it so tell us a little bit about your journey you know from the beginning to present so how has that been for you so um, I started I was really excited to get going and got licensed within like 10 days I think yeah and um and did you fail your test one time but still <laughs> t- still got it within 10 days yeah I <laughs> Failed with a 69% uh, in the US past. <laughs> it's a common theme, it, I feel yeah, like. <laughs> it was hard to see that. But, you know, it, then the next time I got 84. So Love it. <laughs> got some more knowledge. But, um, yeah, I just went off, um, went to convention, was really fired up, you know, True. seeing everybody's success. And, like, I'm like, these people are, like, just like me. Mm-hmm. You know, like, everybody started from our point, you know. Right. So, um, I really saw the potential, and I love. I've always had like an entrepreneur mindship. Um, okay. I've always wanted to have my own business. I've done a lot of like woodworking and stuff with my husband. Cool. So um, yeah, I like working for myself. But you had no so, sales experience, no, no insurance. You no didn't sales know experience. About, yeah. um, my parents own a medical practice, so I've done their medical billing and insurance for a while. So. But that's just health insurance, so that was an easy part to pass on the test. (laughs) Yeah, you're like, I know that stuff. (laughs) And then how about present? So starting, obviously, was, I know you started off kicking butt. I mean, your first week was like, what, five, or no, first two days was like five grand or something. Yeah, Uh, my first four appointments, I made 9,500. Wow. (laughs) So, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's definitely, there's highs and lows. Um, Something I'm still working through is, you know, not riding the lows, as Gage always says. Yes, (laughs) yes. Not riding the highs either. Um, But, you know, you got to push through. It's not always easy. Exactly. um, Yeah, you got to work for it. And I've been doing some travel trips, you know, helping a friend get started in California. And we had to really go through some trials for like a week. I extended my trip and that was a blessing because we ended up making it worth it. But, you know, you have to figure out what works in the areas and um, all the different lead types. So. It's Absolutely. interesting how every state and county is just so different. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's like once you get used to it, like if you start doing consistent travel trips, you'll find areas that you like better than others, mm-hmm. and then you'll start going there every time and just yep. building that network there as well yeah. and maybe hiring there as well. Yeah. So you started hiring from day one. Why? How did you see – or why did you feel like you wanted to hire from day one? Um, I really just – at first, I didn't really want to be like that recruiter that you know. I know, I felt the same way. Yes, yes. And because I get so many like it works messages and stuff. And yeah. Like, hey, girl, you should try this. And I'm like, like MLM yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be that person. But right. my thought is, if I could do it organically and just post my sales and like, mm-hmm. hey, this has done this for me. And I mean, I have 19 people in the course right now. Wow. My mom actually, she's 
just past her exam. Yeah, yeah. Nurse practitioner for 24 years, two medical practices, and she's like, I need to get, <laughs> I need to do this because yeah. she's money driven, and you know, she's like, that's awesome. So I love that. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of agents when they first start, they're afraid to hire because they're like, well, I don't know if I can do it, or, mm-hmm. or they're just aren't confident in being like a leader. So that was just one of the questions I always had for you because I'm like, from the get-go, like you posted stuff, you were ready to share the opportunity, and like you already have how many people writing right now? So Anna? Um, I have three agents under me. Three agents, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and it's all been just organic, you know, like I said, just just posting on on social media. Anna went to elementary school with me. Another girl went to high school. You know, it's just, it's not like I'm really selling them anything. I'm just telling them what I'm doing. And they're like, I want to do that too. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. It's so easy when, you know, the opportunity is so real Mm -hmm. and money doesn't lie. Exactly. (laughs) And the cool thing is like recruiting here isn't like we're not an MLM. So the people that you're recruiting don't have to hire to make money. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're recruiting them, you know that they're genuinely going to make good money. They're going to, you know, be able to have a great opportunity for their family and build a future for themselves outside of just having to message 30 people that they know. So that gave me ease when I was hiring Mm -hmm. because I'm like, I'm not forcing them to do the same, but if they want to, they can. Yeah. I tell people that too. Like you don't have to recruit here. It's not an MLM. Exactly. Nobody's going to force you to do that. You can make 200, 300 grand on your own pen. Yeah. Not even recruiting Uh a single person. (laughs) And I even told Anna too that I was like, you don't have to recruit. Like you don't have to. It's not. But and then, like, her best friend was like, what are you doing? He manages a Chick-fil-A, and now he's, he's getting his it. license. That's awesome. <laughs> so it's that. just organic. I love the organic. I mean, definitely in the future, I um, might go a different route as well. Yeah, like but, yeah, um, do another platform or something. Yeah. Cool. So what are your goals, or what would you say, um, so we're kind of in the beginning of 2021, so what would you say at the end of 2021, what your goals are as personal, agency, just your family in general? doesn't have to be just FFL goals, but... Um, I definitely want to consistently make <laughs> at yes. least, like, 40000 every month. Yes. Um, my husband's actually getting his license right now, too, so he's cool. transitioning from the military next year. So um, definitely want to be an agency builder. Um, that's my long-term goal. Awesome. And um, really just want to help as many people as I can, mm-hmm. the relationships that you make with, you know, these clients, especially this year, like... People don't have people to talk to. I know. And it's just, I don't know, I love going to, like, the old people's homes. It's They're like, so grateful yeah, and, like, like, happy to see you. It's, like, my own grandma and grandpa that I'm not even seeing, you know, because yeah. I'm in a different state. Right. It's just so nice. Like, you just feel better than you did w- before you went to the appointment. Right. It's, like, you actually helped them because You feel like you made an impact on their life yeah. and their family's lives. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so feeling. I really just want to, um, you know, be consistent and... Mm-hmm be able to um, stay on top of things mm-hmm. and create a future with this so that I can do it long term. Love that. So with your husband starting, because I know, you know, Gage and I have had our ups and downs with being like a business partner together. And so with him starting, what do you think his role would be? Are you trying to, is he going to go write business or? Yeah, he's, um, <laughs> he's more like IT. That's what oh, he does cool. in the military. Um, so maybe you could help satellite with Satellite communications. Yeah. Like the technology side of things? I don't know. He definitely wants to write business, though. Cool. He's, like, super money-driven and um, really smart guy, so I think he'll do really well at it. I um, think the phones will be the hardest part for him. But phones are the hardest part <laughs> for, for everyone. everyone. <laughs> yeah, but once you overcome that, then, you know, the results will follow. So I think anybody can overcome it. You just have to go through the trials to get there. Right. Just got to build the muscle for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, cool.